Hey guys, and welcome to my page. Um, I'm so happy that you're here, and we are going to do a little crafting today. We're going to make some custom tumblers, and I'm going to show you how I got this tumbler to look like a couple of other tumblers that I have made. Let's get going. Okay, so as you see, I have a tumbler already on the turner, and this is a 16 ounce tumbler. It's, um, I'm customizing it for someone for a memorial. So let me get ready and let's get started. So this cup has been prepped. It has clear, um, not clear, but I mean white spray paint on the base of the cup. Um, first, by prepping it, I did sand it down, cleaned it really good, alcohol, wipe it down with alcohol to get any oils that are on this cup off of the cup. Then, once it completely dries and I go ahead and spray painted it white so that these colors will pop a little bit more vibrant, which you could tell it's very beautiful. Uh, let's make sure you guys have some good lighting. Okay, so then um, I added uh, two different glitters. So this one, I know people always ask about Walmart glitter. Let me tell you something. I get glitter from everywhere. If you find glitter and you love the color, get it, use it. Don't hesitate, just try it. This is emerald. Yes, this was from Walmart. It's beautiful, it's got green, and I believe it's like gold um, flakes in it. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I just see a lot of comments, you know, people, is Walmart glitter good? I have a lot of Walmart, I have Michaels, I have uh, from Joann's, I have from different places, and I, ha I order online. So if you like it, use it. Don't waste it, use it. And you can mix colors to make your own colors as well. So anyway, so this is what's on the bottom of this cup. And then I went to Michael's and I got the spinet. Um, this is the white that I got. And it has a very, very little glitter look to it. And it's solid white, so you don't get that. Um, the oh, where I, don't, I have to find it. Actually, it's right here. So this color right here, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it has like a little bit of a, like a other flakes in it. Well, if you're looking for a solid, just solid white, you don't want any other color in it, then this is your go-to. You can find this at Michael's and they're about $10. And a lot of the times they have where you buy one, you get one 50% off. So it's like, it's a great deal. Um, and I ended up getting this one as well. I have a whole bunch of these and what I do is I just put them in um, bottles and and use them so this is a beautiful purple beautiful okay so let's get started here so this is the cup that we're making this is the idea this is a 16 ounce this is a memorial cup you we put a picture on it um, we put the heartbeat uh, we put the heart disease ribbon on it, and we put the date and everything on it. So this is a custom. Uh, I only do custom cups. I don't want a bunch of cups that, you know, just sitting around. So I usually just do customs for anybody who wants an actual ordered cup. So that's what we're doing right here and right now. All right. So now that we are at this stage... I clear coated this so that the green and the white won't mix when we're putting our epoxy. Let it dry really good. And now we are going to use our epoxy. This is the epoxy I use. Let's see if I can put it a little closer for you guys. I've been using this for a very long time. I don't have any problems with it. It cures perfect. Um, I'm, I just ordered like a whole nother order. I always order from them. So, so this is A and we're going to mix equal. So what I do 
is I pour it in there. And this is a 16 ounce, so you don't really need a whole lot. Not only that, but you're just putting that clear coat over to seal the glitter. I know, I'm a messy one. Everybody has their own ways of doing things. Well, this is my way, and I'm not editing anything out. This is going to be exactly the way I do things. Some people wear a mask. I don't wear a mask. My house is very well ventilated. Um, it's a very open space. If you are in an area and it's not well ventilated, you need to open up a window. Um, you need to have a fan pushing the air outside. I never have an issue. My house is at a good temperature. Um, a lot of people say, you know, wear a mask, which I would wear a mask if I was in a small home, not well ventilated, but anyways. All right, so here's part B. And when you buy these, I order these on Amazon. I can put the link below. Um, you get both of these together and I think it's like $60, $60. Great deal. And I did put the date on here and I had Christmas orders like crazy. I put on here the date that I opened it so I can kind of get an idea how long it's taken me to use it. I'm like right here still. So, I mean, it's a great buy. Good products and you don't have to use a whole lot. All right, so now what we're gonna do is I put, I normally don't look at the little lines on here. Whoops, I don't look at the little lines on here because I reuse my cups. So after a while you get to where you can't see the lines. So what I do is I just match it up by eye. If you're one of those people that can't do that, use a black marker and make a line and that way you know on your cup where you always need to be if you're using the same amount every time. All right, so, and it's probably on, actually I can kind of tell you what it might be on, which is 15. Yep. So this is like a little bit above the 15 mil. So what I'm gonna do is I just poured this one in and I'm gonna match it up by eye. I'm gonna put it up to the light, match it up by eye. I have a little more, too much of the B. So I'm gonna take the B out, just enough to pour it out. And then I'm gonna keep on matching it. And I'm perfect. I do this enough that usually I don't have to sit there and keep pouring it. Some people do use the pumps, so you could use uh, one, two, three, four, five pumps, and then it's always going to be the same, but you always still need to match. These need to be equal A and B, and when you mix them together, that's what cures it for your cup. If you don't have equal amount, these are not going to dry, and it's going to always be sticky. That's not what you want. You don't want your cup to take days and months to dry. You want it to take a, you know, six hours to 12 hours to dry and that way you can move on to the next step, getting your cup done for your customer. Okay, now I go to Walmart and I buy these little um, cups that you use like for the bathrooms or I do have, let me show you what else I do have. Uh, where do I have it is the question. Um, I have a rubber cup that I can use. I don't use it a whole lot. Don't ask me why. Uh, oh, here it is. All right, so you can buy these off of, off of Amazon and you can reuse these over and over and over again. And what happens is the epoxy will dry on it and you can just crack it and it pills right off. They're good to have. I don't know, I just, I bought it and it became, you know, not fast enough for me. So I ended up using the cups. Sometimes I do use this, but very rare. Okay, let's get started here, guys. Okay, so now we're gonna, what we're gonna do is I have a popsicle stick. You can buy these at Walmart, okay? And what I do is you're gonna take your A and you're gonna dump it in your cup. I know you probably can't see because of the cup, but I'm gonna take A and you're gonna scoop it all, every little drop you can get. 
get into that cup, okay? If you're one of those messy people, like my daughter, she probably would be okay doing this, but when she does glitter, I swear, I think she wastes more glitter than needs to be. And we laugh about it, because I'm like, how much glitter did you waste? And she's like, I don't know. And she'll get it like all over her, all over the floor, in her lap. So basically, I do all this by myself, because if I let her do too many, I may have to buy glitter every time you turn around. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and mix my B and my A in the same cup, okay? So we're going to mix this nice, we're gonna get all of it in there. You can use the same stick, it's, it's not gonna interfere with anything. Okay, so you're gonna make sure you get every little drop that you can, okay? And then, all right, once you get it all in there, you're, I reuse my cups. Always have a paper towel or a baby wipe nearby. Okay, so now we have our A and our B in this cup, right? We're gonna take our stick and we're going to stir it. Now, another thing is, is that a lot of people start freaking out because there's bubbles. They say if you stir too fast, you're gonna get all these bubbles. And that is true, but there's nothing to worry about because if you get the bubbles, that's why you have a heat gun. You have a heat gun to get rid of the bubbles. So I don't worry about the bubbles. I just mix because I need my epoxy to cure. I'm not gonna wait days and months and have to redo it all over again. So I just mix, 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 mix. And you're gonna mix until you notice that it's clear. So once your epoxy is clear and not cloudy anymore, then you know that you're good. You know that you've mixed and mixed and mixed. So you're gonna scrape the sides of your cup really good and you're just gonna see how clear it is. So I think we're good. I just mix, mix for a few minutes. You know, you don't have to sit there and do it for five hours, but just mix. All right, now we're gonna scrape off of our wood spoon. Get as much as you can off because you can reuse that. Try to utilize all your supplies. Don't waste, don't be wasteful, okay? All right, then you're gonna need gloves. Make sure you get gloves. Um, these gloves are gonna protect your hands, keep it from getting messy. Um, I usually just use one glove, so I try to utilize my supplies. You can order these on Amazon, you can get them, sometimes you can get them at Walmart, sometimes you can get them from uh, supply, uh, hardware stores, but Amazon is usually where I get majority of my stuff. All right, so now we're gonna turn on our turner, and I am, I'm kinda weird. I'm right-handed, so I like my turner to go to the right direction because when I do it, I, I'm using my right hand. I usually just hold it with my left and pour with my right. I know, I'm weird, and that's okay. All right, so what we're gonna do is you're pouring it and just go nice and even. Some people use like the makeup pad uh, sticks, the makeup sticks or not sticks, I forget what they call them, but I don't because I like to fill my cup. So if your cup feels smooth, you know that you got epoxy there. If it's rough, you know you need to put epoxy there because you're gonna feel the difference. It's gonna be nice and slick. When you know you have epoxy, it's gonna be rough if you don't have the epoxy in that location. So you're just gonna continue to layer it nice and even. Don't thin it out too much, but don't make it so thick to where it's dripping off of your cup. You don't wanna be wasteful, and you wanna make sure there's a good layer so that it seals everything, that way your glitter is good and sealed. And you're just gonna to continue to do that. You're gonna put it actually, you're gonna put it on the bottom of your cup, rub it really, really good, get every little angle, get the, the corners, And you're just gonna continue to do this all through the cup. Get the rim really good, okay? 
and this is basically going to have to dry for 12 to 16 hours um, usually I do other cups so I just let it turn all day and then later tonight um, if it's good and dry and not sticky or anything I will go ahead and start applying my decals my pictures anything that's supposed to go on the cup I will apply them then so we've used all of that it's nice and layered you're gonna have some that drips off and that's okay you know it's not a big deal you're not wasting any it's gonna drip off because it needs to but once it starts thickening it's not gonna do that anymore okay so if anybody is watching this video and they feel, you know, they don't understand something or they have a question, please leave me a message below and I will message you back answering any questions that you have. I've been doing cups a while. I've learned along the way. I've watched videos like you have and that's what helped me become a cup maker, basically. All right, so now we have covered the whole cup. The bottom is covered, the top is covered, the whole thing is covered, right? And I got epoxy on my finger, because that's what we do. We make a mess. <laughs> it's fun, that's why you craft. All right, so what you're gonna do is, this is a heat gun. These are nice and safe. Um, and you buy, so you buy this. I've seen some that have this attached to it. Do not buy those. I'm telling you, I've seen so many and heard some horror stories of people catching on fire. It's not good. So you can buy this. I think it's like five, ten dollars at Walmart. You can buy this. It's like two, three dollars at Walmart. And basically, you fill it up on the bottom, and then you put this aside. You don't need it anymore. And there's a little button here. You push down. There's a um, holding button so that you don't have to sit there and hold the button forever. But I'm going to go ahead and hold it because and we're, what we're doing right now is we're going to put heat on this. So it's going to even it out because this is self-leveling and we're going to get any but, um, buttons. <laughs> we're going to get any bubbles that are on this cup and pop them. And then once it dries, you'll be good to go. All right. And you're going to do it kind of fast. Don't do it on top of the cup. You're just doing it enough to heat it up to pop any of those bubbles. You will have some epoxy dripping, and it's okay. No worries. That's what happens. Not a big deal. But you're going to do this through the cup really, really good. And then we're going to let it dry. And you'll see, like, the glitter start really getting um, shiny and it looks so pretty all right so that's it it's got a little heat to it and it is dripping I don't know if you guys can see it. it is dripping but that's why I have these silicone pads that way it catches it if you don't have a silicone pad you could always use um, parchment paper some people buy parchment paper um, you can use a foil something with foil or you can use paper you can use whatever you need to all right guys so I'm hoping that you know this helped somebody that's getting started or um, it was just entertaining for you guys so if you could please give me a like and a share um, make a comment let me know if there's something else that you're curious about or you want to know how to do um, I can't wait to uh, see you guys on the next video. All right. Bye.